In this lesson, uh, we're going to look at setting up our drawing, um, ready for drawing elevations and section drawings. Uh, sorry about the noise in the background, if you can hear the fan, it's been a very warm day here today. Uh, it's got to 40 degrees Celsius, which is about 104 degrees Fahrenheit. So, um, yeah, so cooking a bit here at the moment with the computer heat. Anyway, uh, back to the drawing. Now, here I have uh, a drawing already with some elevations um, which I've set up. And we're going to do a basic sort of thing to understand how this works. It's very simple. If you look above these uh, elevations and sections, you can see floor plans and they're all at a different rotation. Um, these are all XREFs, if you remember the previous lessons. So basically what we do is we draw our floor plan, uh, well, ground floor plan and our first floor plan. We draw them once, then we import them into another drawing and we rotate them along. Um, so to get that idea, um, we're going to start a, a new drawing. Just going to start an ISO. And I'm just going to draw from zero, zero point. I'm going to draw a polyline. So, and I'm going to turn on my F8 key. I'm going to draw 3,000. Uh, maybe we'll go up 3,500. 2,500. Uh, we'll go 4,000. And then we'll just come back to here. What I'm going to do is, I'm going to save this drawing. We'll keep this, maybe this line type will make it uh, red. And I'm going to save this drawing, just save it somewhere. I'm just going to call it uh, level 1. Okay. And what we might do is, we might just save as and call it level 2. And what we'll do is, um, we might just change, uh, pull this back a little bit. It doesn't really matter the dimensions, I'm just. Um, moving around. If you remember how we do that, the way I'm shifting these things is I'm holding in the shift key, left clicking on the uh, grips, and then letting go of the shift key, then left clicking on the grips, and then just dragging the direction I want. So hold down the shift, left click, left click, let go of shift, left click, and then move my mouse in the direction I want. Now I'm going to change the color to green, and click on save. Okay, now I'm going to close that. Now, what we're going to do here is going to create another drawing, and this time we're going to XREF in those two plans. So we type XR, and we bring up our XREF window. Now we we'll click on the little drop down arrow there and make sure we cl click on Attach Drawing. Now we'll go to where our, we saved our uh, drawing. So there's level one. We'll left click on that, double click it, and We'll leave it in. It doesn't really matter at this stage if it's attachment or overlay. This is all this should just be uh, set to default. It should be OK. We'll click OK. I'll we'll just move this window a little bit. And zoom extents, we can see that we now have uh, that level in there. And we're going to do it again. We're going to left click, attach drawing, and we're going to attach level 2. And click OK. So now you can see we've got our level 1 and level 2. Now, what I generally do is I could draw. Uh, my elevation, uh, or one elevation, projected down from these lines here if I wanted to. Um, but what about all the side ones and the and the rear and that? What I generally do is I select all the XREFs onto being inserted, then I'll copy them across. So one way you can do that, I'll just undo that or I'll erase that. Is copy CO or copy. Select the objects and then ask me for a base point, select there and just make a little bit of space between the um, four plans now what we're going to do is we're going to select the four plans and now a little grip will come up we're going to uh, left click on the grip to make it hot press the space bar twice so we rotate and then we can rotate the four plan now I'm going to move it back and we can do that um, with this one as well. This, 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 this uh, case, what I'm going to do is I'm going to select the grip, I left click it, and I'm going to scroll through to rotate, and then I'm just going to type 180 to rotate at 180 degrees. And then I can move, move it back, and this one here, we can rotate 
uh, right around and move there. So that's the sort of basics of setting up um, the elevations and sections. Now, these might be good for the elevations, but I'd probably make another one for uh, um, for where I'm going to take the section through the building or sections. I could do a few more along there. The great thing about this method is that it allows evolve to just draw a line here. If that was our ceiling line, it means that we can continue get that ceiling line continuous the whole way through, and it's easy just to work in the one the one uh, sort of plane without having to rotate the screen around. As I'll show you in the next lesson um, about an alternative to this, which you might come across. Um, I don't like that particular method myself, but I'll show you anyway. So basically, now what we could do is we could draw our lines down from these points and then start creating our elevations and sections. And because these are XREFs, if they do change, um, the length, for instance, does change, um, we can quite easily have all of these floor plans update at the same time. Now that's sort of basics of how this works. We'll get into more detail. Um, I'll just show you that actually. I'll just um, open up the level one and I'm going to stretch, so S for stretch, and I'm going to stretch that line to there, and I'm going to save it, and I'll close that drawing. Now you can see down the bottom here it's asked me already if I want to reload level 1. Uh, that balloon sometimes pops up, it doesn't always pop up. I could click on that now, and it will update the floor plans, so I'll do that. And as you can see it's updated the floor plan, so where I had this initial line coming off there, I can now move that to there and change my elevations to suit. So that's the basics for that. So we'll move on to the next lesson and we'll look at an alternative way to set up our um, drawings for doing elevations and sections. Okay.